All right, thank you, Matt. Well, we are on your side to talk trees this Tuesday. Maybe you have trees in your yard that you're worried about, or maybe you need to help picking out the right trees to plant. Either way, an arborist can help you, and they do much more than that. So joining us today to explain, Colin Connor. He's a certified arborist with the city of Hoover. Thanks for being with us. Thank you, ma'am. All right, so first of all, explain what an arborist does. Well, an arborist, you know, arboriculture is whole tree care, mm -hmm. top to bottom, throughout the, the lifespan of the tree. Um, you'll see arboriculture defined as the study and practice of tree care and caring for other woody plants in the landscape. Um, the study aspect of arboriculture is important. It helps industry leaders kind of set standards for advancing the practice. So we, we study what we practice, study what we do, see the results of that, and then adjust the standards accordingly. So it's, it's whole tree care. So at what point, how do you know if you need to have an expert come, come in and help you? There's no time like the present. If you have trees in your yard, there is a chance that they may need some attention. Older, larger trees generally are a little more needy, possibly because of the risks they present. But even, even young trees or even prospecting to plant a tree in your yard is a great time to work with an arborist to have he or she help you select the tree and then, and then plant it properly, give it a good start. So how much does this cost somebody? Does the city of Hoover provide these services or how does that work? We do. We, we have several uh, on staff personnel that will go and consult with homeowners. Hoover residents, obviously free of charge. Mm -hmm. Now an, an arborist, I can't speak to a commercial arborist what they might charge for some type of consulting service. I would think time is money so there would be a fee associated with that. Yeah. When you're talking, we were just talking in the uh, break about the dry weather impacting so many trees. Has that really uh, increased your calls at the office? I, I think people are just scared to call. It's just watching the weather reports and seeing that same extended dry period. So they're just sort of watching. Those who are irrigated are obviously running, running irrigation. Hopefully, um, older established trees can weather periods of drought, even an extended period of drought. But it is, it is something to consider when you're, again, prospect, prospecting to plant trees in your yard. Yeah. Consider species that may be a little more drought tolerant. <laughs> yeah, absolutely, yeah. since we haven't had rain in so long. Well, Colin, if anybody has any questions they want to get in touch with you or your, anyone in your office, what's a number they could call or a website they could go to? HooverAlabama.gov, a brand new website, recently revamped. Oh. So you can find us online, HooverAlabama.gov. All right, we appreciate you being with us today. Thank you so much. Thank you.